Mr. President, you're a businessman. I don't, I don't know if you follow Jesus or not, Obama, but uh, if you follow the Lucifer, hey, Lucifer's fight really isn't with me, uh, and I'm sure Lucifer knows that. So, money, the root of all evil. It's the life force of both good and evil, universal power. Mr. President, what do I have to design for you to fire Kurt Eaton? You have no idea of the criminal activity of this man. He boasts a loud boast of justice and I do things right to the face. But he doesn't, like many. I'm not uh, going to the Pope. I'm looking directly at you, Mr. President. I'm saying, you want a new plane? You want a new underwater ship? You want a spaceship? What do you want me to design under the power of God? Something worth a million? Five million? to have this man fired. Now you're like, that's not God. Oh, it's indeed God. Indeed. In fact, how much does the United States military want to uh, capture the list of men that I have on a list and I'll explain my reasons to each one of them on that list. How much will it be within a, a million, five million, ten million bracket, twenty million, fifty million, or a billion? Don't bother me. I can produce endless invent. I can design things worth billions and trillions under the power of God. Obama, I've had a cult of masons and a group of jerks that have been violating the justice, have been destroying my life. And all I've been trying to do is provide life for everyone. Ruin, design these cockamamie records, trying to wreck my reputation. I was an all-state running back, Obama. 1,663 rushing yards, 32 touchdowns. Um, can build anything, can fix anything, hard worker. I can't, I'm, I can't even begin to tell you. I have a group of criminals here in Spin County and in your system that are uh, trying to not obey my arrest. And I think this You name your price, Mr. President. Whew. You want wealth, man. You came to the right brother. I don't... This is uh, Mason's invention here. Okay? I'm sure my family probably... Somewhere down the line probably designed it. I don't know, but... I know that uh, my invent is worth more than this. You ain't got enough trees on Earth to make enough of this money to match the gift that I have, Mr. President. But, it's to help you. All you gotta do is tell me what kind, what you're looking for. Anything. I don't care what it is. I just pray to God. Spirit comes down on my head and shows me and I design it. <laughs> I love this gift. And I'm not abusing it either. I'm coming to you or, or the Pope. You're the only two people I bring such a... I re, listen, please, Mr. President. That freaking Eaton had a whole group of troopers. Johnny Cochran, my, my little baby brother. They beat my little brother with freaking nightclub sticks, smashed him through a door, dragged him in shackles like, like a Chuck Norris movie, dragged him down the steps. Totally. 
totally out of just total stupid. Well, at least, okay, if not that, let me and that sneaky, low-down, mangy, Judas, German, Martin Luther alike, betraying of German honor scumbag, Curdy, and let him get in the ring with me, Obama. I won't kill him, I promise you I won't. So let me work him over a little bit for... Oh, you have no idea. See, let me tell you why. My dad was an MP in the U.S. Army of your military. Kurt Eaton was a trooper. And he was trying his trooper crap illegally on my dad. And my dad was a cop in the U.S. Armed Forces in the Army. He was a sergeant. And... They got into a fight. My dad knocked him out cold because he was a criminal. My dad wiped the floor with him. And this man, out of his defeat, he got creamed, got laughed at by everybody. Has made it his ambition to try to destroy my dad and all his kids, his life, literally off us, literally work us right off so we're dead. So, you name your price, Mr. President. I don't care what it is. Tell Staff Sergeant William Ernest. Whoever you want, and I'll design it for you. In a minute to have that little weasel fired. Or let me get in the ring with him. I'll work him over. <laughs> Jesus bless you.